Hey there everyone, welcome to our series Automate the Boring Stuff in ANSYS Mechanical. In today's video, we will be specifically looking into contacts. So, 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 uh, we have already seen how to access connection. So, from connection, we will create a connection group and then from connection group, we will create contacts. So, I will directly create connection group from here. So, it will be model.connections, which will give you a connection. Then from here, add uh, connection group. And then from a connection group, uh, we will create automatic connections. So create automatic connections. So ideally, uh, face to edge is not required here. We will just see any one contact. We will pick up any one contact and see its properties. Uh, here it will be face to face. So let's create. Now you will see one contact has been generated. So let's learn the ways how we can act access this contact region uh, suppose you are already having a connection group variable so from here you can do uh, children from here you will see only one contact region is uh, available from here you will just type uh, you will access the first index which is zero and you will get the contact region one more way is con group dot get children again here you have to give the model property uh, dot it will be contact contact region yeah so this will be again don't forget the boolean true and then you will get the same as you got from children and you can also uh, access directly from model it will be model dot get children and here again you have to type data model object category dot uh, contact region comma boolean true here also you are getting the same thing so this is much easier let's say you are already having connection group anyway when you will be doing automation you will be storing this connection group somewhere so we will use the same uh, and this will be index 0 and i will type it as c1 contact one just to be uh, just to keep it simple so c1 is our contact so c1 if we type there is one way to rename it which is rename based on definition so let's see whether it is available or not rename based on definition it's a function that doesn't return anything so yeah so c1 dot name so this is what we are targeting it's a bonded solid to solid so let's access all these methods again you here you don't have to choose anything so based on this uh, location for example here you are having a, you are sending a name selection to this automatically this is changed to name selection if you are sending geometry location it will be face to face so let's keep it face to face name selection and uh, eye selection info we have already seen in selection manager video and name selection video so let's not change this to access contact faces you can just type c1 dot source location and to uh, target target faces or to access target faces you can just type c1 dot target location few things that is very much required or to learn is this type behavior and what else behavior trim contact pinball region and if it is frictional uh, then you have to use the friction coefficient and pinball region is there normal stiffness if you are doing nonlinear analysis then this um, mathematical offset between the contacts so let's start with bonded and let's see what type it is so it will be c1 dot uh, type uh, not this type it should be something like contact type thread type yeah contact type so you will see it is a bonded and it's again a get and set property enum name is contact type and let's see what are the fields available there so it will be bonded frictional frictionless no separation these are most frequently used rough then bonded is already available so let's go with all the settings of bonded and then we have behavior so it should be c1 dot behavior it's a get and set property right now it's program control and then here you will see asymmetric auto symmetric these are uh, there is a very good a video by ANSYS which explains when you should choose asymmetric, autosymmetric and symmetric program control is most frequently used but sometimes if you have some convergence issues then you can change it to asymmetric, symmetric all those things. So let's see if I make it asymmetric. Yeah these are getting changed so I will keep it program controlled for the time being 
and then we have suppressed yes no then this everything whatever you are seeing these are all in a properties so you should be getting f1 dot formulation formulation is not available let's see what it is advanced formulation yeah contact formulation is there so it's also a enum property it's program controlled uh, formulation we we do change it when we do some very uh, uh, when we do some analysis having large deformation or contains a large amount of non layer trees and then we have augmented augmented lag range pure penalty these three are most useful so i will not go deep into that but if you want me to uh, compare the difference between all this augmented Lagrange pure penalty FTC and uh, behavior as symmetric asymmetric do let me know in the comments I will create separate video for this and then pinball region yes we do it most of the time pinball there is two difference between uh, trim tolerance and there is a difference between trim tolerance and pinball region trim tolerance means suppose there is a sphere of certain uh, radius uh, and after that it will not uh, it will not use those contacts so contacts will be contacts will be based on uh, nodes right so um, after it is meshed anything that goes outside will be trimmed off it will be cut it will not be considered in the analysis and pinball region means where to detect it where how to detect suppose there is a sliding contact it it has to detect certain contacts when it's sliding right at that time it has to um, detect the contacts uh, similarly this uh, contact these things we don't use quite often but if you want to use you can use the enum property of this contact geometry correction for example it should be c1 dot just type correction yeah contact geometry correction it's no no so uh, other types of contact that we use most frequently are this one it should be let me replay it and it should be frictional why is it coming like this contact type c1 dot contact type yeah so it should be frictional in frictional first is friction coefficient so c1 dot friction coefficient you will see it's a double it's not a quantity so it should be having some decimal values like it will be 0.13 just change the <coughs> active object then it will come so i have made it 0.15 and similarly we have this damping factor update stiffness on each iteration these things also are also done so let's see how to access that it will be update stiffness so it's a get and set property and it's a type of enum you can just type equal to dot each iteration it will get changed to each iteration you can uh, give the damping factor as well so it will be 1 by 10 mostly which is 0.1 or sometimes 1 by 100 also if you are having convergence issues and then we have this offset which is very critical when doing non-linear analysis suppose you are already have having a contact with some gap but you want to it to be considered uh, if you want to maintain that gap, gap throughout then you can use this offsets it will be c1 dot offset i think this is user offset instead of offset let's check if it is changing or not it will be like 0 0.001 or just 0.1 mm and yeah it's changing so this is user offset and rest of the things are uh, simple enum properties you can change it on your own so this were the uh, most frequently used things and instead of phase suppose you are doing automation and you are uh, you are storing certain faces in an end selection so when you create this context instead of here you have to select name selection so within the name selection whatever contacts are available or faces are having interaction it will get generated here also suppose you are already having a name selection and you are directly creating a contact region instead of a contact group so we already have that con I guess no, it's not here. So con is model dot corrections, and then here con dot add contact region. Instead of correction group, you have to type contact region. And once it is created, 
you will see it's a creating a blank and here you can choose the faces as source location and target location and here you can uh, send a uh, name selection which is having multiple uh, faces then it will automatically create uh, uh, not faces but bodies it will automatically automatically create uh, various contacts for you so that's all for now guys see you soon in the next video